go live. Woohoo! Woo Yay! Yay! We're here! Happy dance! We've been having some issues with our feed here, but yep. let's hope that we stay stable. <laughs> okay, awesome. So here we are. Yay! Yay! All right, so there'll be people joining us. Hello, welcome, 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 everyone who is coming on. We always like to get some little thumbs up and some hearts just to let us know that you can hear us. And I know that there are some people here, so let us know that you Yay. can hear us. Little Give us up. a thumbs up. Yay, we're happy. <laughs> happy dances. Welcome, welcome, Good welcome. Good energy. Welcome, everybody. So say hi to us. Even if you're watching on the replay, please say hi. Come back and check these replays. I answer questions on them. So if you are watching, oh, there's a thumbs up. There's another one. They're floating us. across. So. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Well, hello. Say hi. Tell us where you're from. Tell us your blueprint if you're just joining us. We'd love to hear, we'd love to learn about all the different blueprints that are out there. Hi, Jonathan's here. He's hey, Jonathan. a super fan. And if you, if she just said blueprint, you're like, what's that? Well, uh -huh. you can go to eroticbreakthrough.com, take, take the, the quiz, quiz, and learn what your erotic blueprint is. Mm -hmm. You can do that after this. We're going to be here for about an hour. So go check that out. Find out what your blueprint is. That's what we're going to be talking about pretty much this whole time, about how the blueprints can help you move past disconnection and... Um, the the false thing of incompatibility. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about a little bit about that today. Yeah. So Benjamin says hi there from Germany. He's a sensual Buttercup. Yay! Hey, gorgeous. Hey, Buttercup. <laughs> right back to you. Yay! Great to see you. <laughs> awesome. Amy Coleman says hello. She's a sensual and maybe an energetic. Oh. All right, sensual. I think. I so, think. Well, I've got the... heavy sensual. Jaya, not so much. Jaya's got heavy energetic. I've developed my energetic, but yeah. not not to that level. Yeah, you've developed it quite <laughs> a bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm getting some energetic superpowers. He's got some energetic superpowers now. So, yes, please, if you're coming on, I see quite a few people coming on. Hello, hello. And tell us your name, where you're from, your blueprint. Chandra, hey. Uh, she says she's a shapeshifter. Nice. We got some shapeshifters. We got some energetics. We've got some sensuals. Where are y'all from? What's your blueprint? Say hello. Uh, and, and if you don't know this guy, yep. this is my partner, Ian, partner in crime. And we're going to demonstrate for you today. So just a little frame for today. We're going to demonstrate for you today our epic seduction fails. And maybe some of you relate to these epic seduction fails that we are going to discuss and talk about. I see lots of hearts and fun things going across um, that we've experienced, so you don't have to experience anymore. And we're also gonna talk about how we turned it around, how we solved this, and how the blueprints play a role in that. So it's really important that we know your blueprint today. And we also have, Jonathan says, looking awesome, Ian. And also to Jaya, you've got a beautiful and sexy dress on. Yeah, these oh, are yeah. My, my signature They're dresses the signature here. Dresses. Thank you. And uh, thanks for recognizing. I know we bring me on because I'm really the good looking one of the group. So <laughs> <laughs> we just, you know, want some eye candy. So yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah, his hair is so Yeah, my hair is so luscious. And and luscious. The clothing, the dresses I wear. Gorgeous. <laughs> Marty says hi. Hi, Marty. Hey, Marty. Much love from Shapeshifter Marty in Nashville, Tennessee. Nice. Fun. I love that we have people already all over from the world. All over from the world. All over from, from the all world. over in the world. So you may be in different time frames. It's morning here, but maybe it's afternoon for you or even late at night. So we thank you so much for joining us. I love thinking about this conversation being ha happening in other languages mm -hmm. like there's people from Germany we've seen results coming in from Russia from Uzbekistan from South Africa from France from all over the world and it's really fascinating to think that this is starting to kind of make its way into people's conversation and mm -hmm. maybe turning some dinner parties upside down one day I can see blueprints happening all over the world there are millions of people it all is all over world. but it being like a conversation a mainstream conversation which brings me to oh, a couple more things. So just framing today, um, epic seduction fails, how to solve them if you're just now joining us. And also we are going to give away an erotic blueprint breakthrough course. Oh, yeah, right. So if for those of you who are the most engaged, mm -hmm. we're going to have a little competition. We, so most engaged, how you win, likes, hearts, 
Um, comments. Comments. Especially feedback about what this brought up for you or if you relate, mm -hmm. things that you really resonate What you're resonate feeling in with. your body yeah, as we, like we go along. One. Like, oh, I'm feeling tingling hot. in my I'm heart or hot. And so that we're really engaging. One of the things I think is really important right now, especially, is that we are creating a conversation and community around sexuality and sexual empowerment for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the reasons why we have so many issues around how people approach sexuality is because of the silence and lack of education around our sexuality. And it's time right now that we end the silence, mm -hmm. we start with when we end the silence we can get educated about sexuality we can have conversations we can raise the consciousness on this planet around sexuality when we start to have the conversation mm. so that's one of the reasons why participation here is so important to me is because we want to start a community and a conversation around something that feels very taboo to talk about but when we bring it out of the shadows that's where we can heal and I know right now we have the Me Too movement and a lot of that, a lot of women, and thank you all of you who are, women and men, all genders who are coming out and talking about harassment and abuse and some of the things that have been going through social media and the feeds and bringing awareness and starting to end that silence, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I also, I always bring everything back to the blueprints because it's the foundation. And, and sometimes it's just the way we approach that creates an epic seduction fail that can create these breakdowns is the way that we approach one another because we're approaching from our own shadow. And it's not something we talk a lot in this class about, but I think we need to bring it up here, which are what is the shadow side of our sexuality? What's the shadow of our blueprint? And one of the shadows of the sexual blueprint I have, which can be, I just think that my partner's genitals and people's genitals or people's sexuality, um, sexuality is, is like me, like yep. mine. And so because I think it's that way, I think that they're going to like the same thing that I like. So I may, you know, send a nude picture or I may grab my partner, like this was an epic seduction fail. We're going to start with one right now. Mm -hmm. And remember, most um, engagement here. The, that is the prize at the end for an Erotic Blueprint Breakthrough course. So talk to us, everyone. We'll take a look at the feed. We'll see who's been commenting, <laughs> who's getting in here um, in the conversation. And I want to start, if you're, if you're just now coming on, tell us your blueprint. Say hello to us. If you're watching the replay, say hello to us. I come back. I look at those comments. I'll be looking at them all day today. All right. So here's an epic seduction fail. Uh, Ian's, we're, we're going to pretend we're in Europe and Ian's driving on the other side of the car. <laughs> right. Although on Facebook, <laughs> maybe, I might actually be on the right side of the car. So whatever, whatever, whatever country he's driving, I'm supposed to be in. And he's driving along and, and my hand goes... <laughs> and that's Ian's reaction. He kind of has a... Um, and I'm all like into it, right? I'm, and he's my partner. I don't think that there needs to Jaya, be. Jaya, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> and he does a Jaya. What are you doing? And I'm, I'm just there enjoying myself. <laughs> and uh, he, he is distracted. He says that's distracting. That's distracting. It's <laughs> a, 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 well, we'll talk about how this has changed over uh -huh. time. But yes, and the the fail here is, I'm kinky. I'm sensual. I am. My primary is not sexual. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, on the quiz, I got a 0% just a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. So when Jaya goes right for my genitals or she goes, you want to... You want to have an F with exclamation <laughs> points? And oh, by the way, not safe for children. This, yes. uh, this episode. <laughs> uh, that doesn't really. That's not the kind of entrance, the on ramp that I need for seduction. So I want to check in with you. How many of you who are not sexually blueprinted have had someone approach you sexually by touching your genitals right off? Like there's not like a lot of engagement or, or it's a comment language. an overt language like it's a comment and let's all take breaths around this because maybe <sighs> for some of us it's been a, a sore point because we don't we didn't know what to do with it or it felt like a violation mm -hmm. in our bodies and because i'm sexually blueprinted that's stuff that i like mm -hmm. you know and so i like though that kind of attention i like that kind of initiation in the bedroom i like that kind of seduction Anything from as subtle as to you're sexy to you got a hot ass. I don't mm -hmm. know what I can say on Facebook. But <laughs> like the cat call kind of thing of like a man mm -hmm. or a woman saying you're 
you're yeah, like hot. I'll, I'll, I just the other day I was hugging Ian, and of course my hand went right to his ass, and I was like, "Ooh, I love your ass," you know. <laughs> and and then I said, "Ooh, do I need do I need consent for that? Like you're my partner. Like oh, I'm now I need like I'm being very conscious of this conversation right now. You're my partner, so do I need consent for that? Because I think at this point you have blanket consent. So I was like, I trust okay. you with my butt. And for those of you who don't know what blanket consent is, it means. It, that I'm, he's a yes to me behaving and initiating in that sexual blueprint at this point in our relationship. Mm -hmm. So we've had that conversation now, and now I'm like, okay, good. She can touch, <sighs> she can touch my body pretty much wherever she wants. <laughs> and I can say you have a hot ass. Yeah, you can definitely say that. Okay. Because I do. And that's what makes the big difference here is we raise the consciousness by having consent, by talking about what's my yes, what's my no, what are my boundaries. And, and having that, and this is a much deeper conversation, not so much what this class is about today, because really we're at the foundation of the blueprints, but I do want to throw that out there because of the conversation that's happening. So you posed a question. In it. Yes, what was you, my question? You, you quest my question yes. to all of you is how many of you have had this happen? And it feels like your body kind of tenses up, you don't like it, it's too quick, it's too fast. Um, oh, we have I lots think of we comments. have lots of comments here on it, so I'm going to check in with everybody and just see. Um, Buttercup says, crazy hottie Jaya, thank you. <laughs> uh, Jaya can rock the infinity dress. <laughs> uh, hi from India, thank you. I love, we have all these people from all over. Marty from Austin, Texas is a sensual. Hi, hi Jasuk, sensual from Santa Monica. Um, great inspiration, thank you Jonathan. Marty, amazing. Yes, Buttercup, one thing more fun to talk about. It is so fun. Yep, we're bringing it. Emily, thank you so much for doing this. Rod, my libido is next to non-existent. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about why that may be happening, why that disconnect might be happening today. Amy's curious, are we born into our blueprints or are they learned behavior? Blueprints are a combination of both, and it also can depend on who you're in relationship with. My, I think it's both. We have, we're kind of born this way. Like I was born very energetically sensitive. And on the other hand, we develop based, especially shadows, we develop based upon our life experiences and who we may be in relationship with. When Ian plays one of his alter ego Sly, we've been playing with him this weekend, who is very sexual because he's developing more of the sexual blueprint then I get shyer, I get even more energetic. So a partner, a life experience, different things in life can bring out different parts of your blueprint and different behaviors. Aging, uh, different hormonal changes, mm -hmm. things like that, can, all of that can influence where you are. Yep. Brian says, yes, I've struggled with that same sh sh shadow, Jaya. Oh, I love when I feel like I'm not alone and I mm. think that's part of what this conversation brings up. Look, I want all of you to know, none of you is wrong or broken. None of you is not, not wrong, what's the, what's the word? Um, so you're not broken. I just want you to know you're not broken and that you're enough. Oh, the other word is normal, you're normal. We wanna know like, am I normal sexually? Am I abnormal? Look, we're, we're normal. There, there isn't a normal when it comes to sex. Mm -hmm. And so, so all of your desires, all of the things that you're wanting, none of them is bad, wrong. It's, it's the consciousness in which we do things. Mm -hmm. And we oftentimes do things out of a belief that we're not enough or we just don't know how, you know, mm. we don't have, because we don't have the conversation, the education, we just don't know how. A lot of the education reinforces really negative ways of reacting mm -hmm. and interacting around sex and connection. Everything from porn to even your just sitcoms mm -hmm. that you see on network TV. The way that they have people interacting is all about conflict. It's not about deepening the conversation, mm -hmm. getting closer and having a dialogue where you can actually meet each other, hear what the other person wants, desires, needs, and figure out a way to get there. Yep. The comedy and the drama all comes from, well, we can't connect. Right. I'm not getting my needs back. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we have education that's about poor communication. We have education in pornography that is not what true sex really looks like and is and might speak to certain blueprints but not others. Yeah, so more likely to speak to the sexual blueprint. Than so a, because yeah. of the silence, I'm going to go back to the silence, because of the silence we have this lack of education of, of really getting education out there and so where do we go to get educated about sex? It's usually mediums that are not great education in the first place and, and so this really is a cultural challenge and I I'm really on a mission to get us educated so that we can all have sexual freedom 
I really want sexual freedom. There's nothing wrong with your desires. I want to keep coming back to that. You're not broken if you don't have certain desires. Nothing wrong with that. And you are absolutely enough. And when we build from that foundation and the blueprints, we're going to see some major shifts, I think, in our culture. I'm super passionate about this conversation. Rod says he doesn't know what his blueprint is. So you can go to eroticbreakthrough.com eroticbreakthrough.com and you can take our quiz and find out it'll actually give you percentages of each one of your blueprints we're super excited because we have a brand new quiz yep. that i love 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 <laughs> okay so francesca shapeshifter hi francesca marty wow i'd love that for my partner too jonathan oh yeah jaya i hope you'll be a great inspiration really to everyone thank you jonathan Marty, do that. Amy, even when my partner does, it feels too quick and sensitive. So when your partner goes goes for you, it feels too quick sensitive. You know, there's so many people out there who think they're wrong, broken, and don't have turn on. And actually, they're probably energetics, and they're just hyper turned on. Mm -hmm. And they're hyper sensitive. And so the littlest thing can kind of short circuit their nervous system as part of the shadow of an energetic. Anya said, I learned to set boundaries and speak up. Yay, Anya. You know, that's one. Of, I'm very boundaried. I have a very well-developed ability to be boundaried, even though I'm very sexual and very open. And I think that helps me, you know, when I speak up, when I, when I claim my boundaries, energetically, emotionally. I mean, there's so many ways in which we can be boundaried. And that's not a bad thing. I think there's this thing like, oh, if I have a boundary, that's a bad thing. No, it allows us to play all the way to those edges of the mm. boundaries. Boundaries are beautiful mm -hmm. things. And so being very well boundaried helps keep me open sexually. People ask me all the time, how are you so open and alive and radiant in your sexuality? Well, it's because I know I have very clear boundaries. Mm -hmm. And that helps me open even more. And something that Jaya will do as well is she'll tamper that uh, energy that she's throwing off based on the circumstance. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a place where you need to be in and you're going out shopping or you're going to get groceries or you're out and about, you know how to, how to control that energy. Yep. Oliver is a me too. Thank you, Oliver. Francesca, I'm like you, Jaya. Francesca says, I've grabbed and wondered why it was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very confusing for sexuals to understand like that there may be a different path that their partner needs sometimes mm -hmm. <laughs> to get there. And we're laughing because it's one of our epic fails. <laughs> and we, you know? we kind of still do it <laughs> half the time. Yeah, I still, so, so a little bit of our epic fails. So we... <laughs> This was us, and this was very painful. I mean, mm. we're laughing now because we, we've we been through it. We, we have a language talk. now. We're on the other side of it. But when you're in it, it is painful, mm -hmm. as all painful can be. So here we are. Let's, let's just demonstrate for them. Uh, this was us many, a couple years, well, many years ago. We had a new baby. I don't know how many parents are out there. So we had a new baby, and you know what that's like when you have a new baby. You can like give, a, baby. You can give a thumbs up if you're a, parents. a parent and you have children in the house. And so here we are. We're going, we're going to bed. Usually I'm already in bed. Ian's coming to bed. I'm there, laying there. And I'd come in like this, and I'd just start, you know, getting all cuddly with her and smooching up next to her, maybe kissing her back, caressing and, her skin. And, and my body's kind of stiff at this point because I'm like, what? My mind is like, okay, he's cuddling with me. And I'm thinking, why nice. is she laying here? She and, talks and, about and, wanting sex and she's not turning over. She's not engaging with me. It's kind of nice. I guess he just wants to get some cuddles and go to sleep. Because to me, cuddling equals going to sleep. Mm -hmm. So that's his way of seducing me. And in my brain, I'm like, okay, he's cuddling with me again. I guess we're, we're going to bed. So can you guess what blueprint I was seducing her in yes what, what, which when... blueprint was he using <laughs> that uh, he was initiating sex and okay so I want to back up to another another thing I want to back up to seduction to me is about inspiration and motivation not manipulation mm -hmm. I think we also unconsciously try to manipulate sometimes with our sexual energy and then that may bring out the things that we don't want so when we're, when we're in manipulation seduction, that brings out things that we don't, the kind of behavior in people that we don't want because we're also meeting it with some unconsciousness mm -hmm. in, that, in that when we're unconsciously manipulating with our sexual energy. It really, the conversation right now that's up is really about sexual power. And so how are you using that? 
for me, when we honor someone in their blueprint, when we learn how to really seduce in the blueprint, it becomes about inspiration and motivation, not manipulation. It also comes about becomes about honoring who the person you're relating mm -hmm. with is. Like Jaya is primarily sexual and energetic. I'm... They're right. They guessed right. Sensual oh, is how you were. <laughs> <how you're... Yay. laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm 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 trying to seduce her in from the sensual. Mm -hmm. But it's this thing of being able to really when okay, so the thing we talk about with the blueprints is that they are really like languages. They have their own ver they have their own words that they use. They have their own body language, their own form of um, vocal tone mm -hmm. and, and physicality to them. So each blueprint has a, a, all sorts of different ways it speaks to each other. So we talk about this like um, maybe the um, kinky would be like an exotic Persian mm -hmm. and the sensual might be a beautiful French. And if I'm Persian and I'm speaking to somebody who's French. French and I'm really into them and we seem to be getting along but we can't talk. Or you fall in love you with fall, them. I'm just like, oh my God, this person's energy is amazing. If you love somebody you, the, the, and you just speak different languages, you don't say we're incompatible as humans. Yes. And this is what I hear all the time with sex is we're just incompatible. No, you're not incompatible. You just speak different languages and you speak different languages of initiation and seduction and connection, arousal, connection. Yep. orgasm. They're very different. Yep. Um, so I saw a brilliance about seduction is about inspiration and motivation. Um, don't know enough about all the blueprints yet. We're, we're going to get to it and go take the quiz. We're going to talk about them a little bit more. I do want to give a rundown just very quickly. So those of you, because we're asking you to guess which blueprint, not everybody knows them yet. Energetic, sensual, energetics turned on by anticipation, tease, Jeez, space, distance. sensual, turned on by closeness. And, and all the full body being turned on, all of their senses being ignited. You can see my body tense when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> the sexual is turned on by flat out, you know, genitals, nudity, super fun in bed, going for it, um, and the certainty of it. And then the kinky is turned on by whatever's taboo. So that could be whatever is taboo for you. Ian has given himself a nice little spin. He's really coming out kinky here lately. Um, and I think the quiz helped. He took the quiz and he saw how high of a percentage his I kinky was. I was top percentage, like 46 He's something like, percent all right, kinky. it's time to own it. I'm yeah. a kinky. And then the shapeshifter, which is all of them, but a shapeshifter loves it all, all at once, wants everything, wants it all to missing? be happening. Oh, sexual. sexual. He's missing sexual, of course, <laughs> as he's demonstrating, because it's zero on his... Um, and shapeshifter wants it all, all at once. Like they want, they can take as much as you can give them and they could take it for hours, mm -hmm. days, and it still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, shapeshifters, when they're in their positive, now each one has a shadow side, of course, and we're kind of talking a little bit about those shadows as we're moving through this. Yeah. Uh, Marty says, don't know enough about, oh, we, we talked about that one. Um, Love playing oral sex games. Yeah, so that's one thing we teach in the course is how to actually speak each blueprint when you're seducing. How do you balance your intimacy and co-sleeping? Oh yeah, that's a great that's a great question. We were co-sleeping parents. That was definitely something that was a challenge for us. It was definitely a challenge. So, we we created a separate space mm -hmm. actually. We had like a little love nest. We luckily had a loft in our bedroom. So that's one thing I recommend is have like a little love nest somewhere else that isn't in your bedroom because your bed now is your co-sleeping space and it has that energy. So having a space outside. Uh, Grant, how do you balance, oh we already just talked about that, Asha, energetic, sensual type. I don't understand what you say about opposite blueprints being attracted to each other. My experience is of being attracted to sensu sex, uh, uh, the same blueprint. Awesome, Asha. So, you know, some people do have same blueprint attractions, but the majority of people we work with, and it could just be that, that that's where the struggle is, have opposing blueprints. And one of my theories is it actually creates polarity and heat mm -hmm. in the relationship because now you've got kind of like opposites attract. And one, some, one thing that can happen sometimes if you are with partners who are your same blueprint is you can get into a rhythm and that can create a rut and that can create sort of a mm -hmm. grave of your sexuality where you just sort of like flatline because mm -hmm. you don't have new experiences that you're bringing in. For some people that is not an issue at all. You're completely in the positive of your blueprint together. You could just do energetic sex mm -hmm. all day long yep. and, and offer the rest of your life and be completely turned on. Yep. 
Brian says, I love hearing your reassurances about possibilities and potential. I'm excited to keep learning how to speak energetic more fluently. Awesome. Yay. That's, that's where you win mm. right there. The willingness to be in the expansion, the willingness to learn the, it's just learning a language mm -hmm. hours and days. Yes. From Francesca. <laughs> this must be a shapeshifter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi from Mexico City. Yay, Mexico City joining us. Linda, you have changed my life. Oh, Yay. Linda. I Linda remember Skogard? you were, yes, yes. in hey, our Linda. very first, yep, the first uh, blueprint, blueprint group that we did. All right. Buttercup loves her nest. Yep. Understanding one another truly is a key to great love and relationships here. Yes, absolutely, Jonathan. Kevin, any advice on being a pleaser when you're a shapeshifter? See, that's the shadow side of the shapeshifter. Yeah. So, okay, I do want to get, we'll talk about that a little bit. I do want to get to our demonstration of how I epically failed seducing Ian. Mm. So I talked a little bit about in the car how I would always go for his genitals. So here we are in bed at night, and uh, he comes to bed. I do all this. And he might do the sensual. Maybe not. Maybe he might be over there facing like the other way, like this. untired, ready to go to bed. Or laying like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of how he does, kind of snoring. And I will, I go, hey, Ian, do you want to fuck? Oh, she said that I on said Facebook. I said the F word on Facebook. <laughs> um, and so, or, or I'd say, do you want to have sex? There's the PG version. Right. Do you want to, do you want to, you know, the, those things? And uh, he would just be kind of like, oh, I'm uh, tired. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> and I would then give, get frustrated, right? Mm. So here I am, sex educator, sex goddess. I know every sex technique there is to know in the books. She and wrote four of them. I wrote four of them. <laughs> and and I, can't, I, I just feel like an epic failure here. Like I can't, like I'm approaching him. I'm like, what guy? Do you want a blowjob? Do you want to like, let's do 90 days of blowjobs. I'm just getting rejected, rejected night after night. And here I am. He falls asleep snoring on his back. And I'm sobbing. Now, I don't know if any of you relate to this, but this sobbing of feeling one incongruent with my work was a big pain point for me, but also just the pain of rejection. And I kept going, what is wrong with me? I started taking striptease classes. I started feeling like I was completely unattractive, which then doesn't build libido or sexiness or me wanting to initiate more. I started feeling as if he didn't love me because for sexual that is love that makes everything feel right in the world when I'm getting my sexual needs met. And so I'm, I'm pretty distraught at this point and pretty heartbroken. And I started to have one foot out the door of our relationship because I, I started telling myself, I'm never going to get my needs met here. I would say that we were really close to actually the end. Like mm -hmm. Jaya was at a place of desperation and on the flip side, inside of me, there was a feeling of, a, la a growing lack of confidence. I didn't know how to meet her needs. I didn't know how to find a place where I could get my libido up to mm -hmm. give her all of the sex and connection, sexual connection that she was craving. Mm -hmm. And you know, this was the time again after our baby had been born and the, there was incredible financial stress. There was, I mean, I, I was probably getting three, four hours of sleep a night. We were co-sleeping. So there were all of these things that, that I felt like were not felt like they, there were, there were boundaries coming up for me. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about my sensual, I, I want to back up because you said we were closely at this point, actually, Eamon was, our son was out of the bed. This was, well, yeah, we, so we were the lead up into it. And then we were all the lead up into it. We had built up so much resentment. I think by the time mm -hmm. we ended the, our co-sleeping that it, Lasted the resentment another year. was in my body. Yeah. And I, I see Brian says, I've experienced that rejection, Jaya, and I feel your pain. Mm -hmm. And just getting really raw and real here, too, and I don't I know how comfortable you feel about talking about it, but also just like his arousal in his body. Even if I was touching your genitals, it was like everything in your body was asleep. Yeah, I was in a hormonal, like a down a tr trough. I was just way down fatigued and I think stressed. it's something we don't talk about like yeah. men I had, also have postpartum I, I postpartum uh, I don't it was depression postpartum stress and and it was this a larger part was like this lack of confidence of like even if I step into that I don't know how I'm going to meet your needs I'm not or I'm putting I'm putting something on and I'm pretending that my libido is here and in the midst of all of that that we were trying to manage and handle in our lives there was 
there there wasn't the ability to feed my sensual, which mm-hmm. is, and the sensual really needs time to relax in order to get to sex. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't just like luxuriate and we could have three hours because when we'd go on vacation, it was a totally different thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, within a couple of days, I get some rest and then we don't have the distractions of all the business and stuff to take care of and all the things that are going on in my head mm-hmm. and all the things that take me out of being connected. My arousal goes up, my connection goes up, my desire for sex goes up. Yep. So anyway, th- we were like, and I didn't know what to do. And I was, I, in my own mind, I was like, okay, whatever, you can do whatever, then fine, we're done. Mm-hmm. And I was threatening, I'm just going to go find another lover, which of course is not the best thing ever. And underneath <laughs> this, we loved each other. Like We did. I don't and think... I, how many of you? Love, or maybe you have a past relationship like this where you just loved each other, but you couldn't get it to move in the bed. You couldn't find the passion for one another, the desire for one another. Or, or right you're, now, maybe yeah. you're in that relationship. Or maybe you, maybe right now things are great, but you know that they could be epic. And I don't say that to make anybody feel wrong or broken. When I talk about what's possible, it's just to share what's possible so that it becomes real for you and gives you hope, not to have you feel broken or wrong or that you even have to aspire to, to be that. Maybe your sex life is amazing. My mission in my body is what's, what's possible. How can I take it even more epic, to, even more epic? Amy says, I, I feel you and totally resonate. Thank you so much, Amy. Mm. <sighs> okay. So big breath. So the good news is <laughs> we turned it around as we talked about at the beginning, you know, we were laughing about our differences because we've completely turned this thing around. Emily says, I have the the great and want the epic. Awesome, Emily. Yep. Yay. Great place to start from. Yay, yay, yay. Marty says, wow, I can relate to Ian's experience, how the libido can decrease when life feels overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's talk about how we turn this around because we've been talking about the epic seduction fails. So for each blueprint, they have the fail. The fail in approaching the energetic. Show them a fail in approaching an energetic, Ian. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> ah! What? Don't you want me? <laughs> so, there's the epic fail. It's too much. It's too quick. It's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Marty says, I love the giant Ian story. So raw and real. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, too much, too fast. My whole body freezes up. I kind of short circuit. It's, I don't know where my boundaries are. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, that's how my body responds. So, that would be an epic seduction fail. And he approached, I think, from kinky. Was yeah, that it was a mix. A it was a mix bit of, of like kinky and hard. Like it was, it was sexual kinky. Like uh-huh. I'm just going for a what I want. A little sexual kinky to my energetic was mm-hmm. like. Wah! And the, <laughs> one of the biggest challenges for energetic is that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Being mm-hmm. an energetic is that they can actually retain those uh, resentments or um, holdings that uh-huh. short circuit for you know through an entire relationship if you never learn how to mend it or or feed them mm-hmm. and recreate that sense so, of safety. So Ian's giving you a, 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 a way that would be more of a seduction. And we're just giving you a couple little things here. I mean, this is super deep. So just know there's the way you talk. There's your body language. There's your touch. There's a way to feed, speak, heal, and expand each one of these blueprints. And that's really, if I were to give you next steps, that's really where you want to go. And what you want to learn is how to do those things. And I just want to say, there's a lot of people here. And so I want to reiterate again, say hello to us. Tell us what your blueprint is. And uh, I see something that says, go to eroticblueprintbreakthrough.com to take the quiz. Yes, please do. And and also we're giving away one of our courses because the doors are open right now for our course, Erotic Blueprint Breakthrough course. So if you want to check out the course and you you just know that you're ready to kind of dive in and learn how to feed, speak, heal, go to eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes to check out what it would be like to get involved in our course and everything that we are doing. So if you're new, say where you're from. We're giving away a course for the most engaged people. And I see tons of engagement. I can't even hardly keep up with all the engagement, (laughs) Woohoo! which makes me very excited. Okay, Sasha's from Mexico City, totally a shapeshifter. Annette is an energetic. 
Renair is a shapeshifter. Forgive me if I botch any of your names. Oh. I frequently say things wrong. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about energetic and some of the things that energetics love, which is one of them is space. Is really space. Mm -hmm. I mean, my energetic actually feels better not touching. Mm -hmm. And so you can imagine Ian's coming to bed, right? And he's like mm -hmm. all snuggling with me, and my body starts to freeze. Somebody mentioned that's what happens in my body, I freeze. Either we freeze or we get pissy, like a little snappy or edgy, like we get the fight in our body. Um, you could even faint. Just You could faint I, or um, sometimes there's, there's another, this is what happens a lot of times when people's nervous systems get triggered, is they can fight, flight, they want to run away, they freeze, and there's a fourth one that a lot of people don't talk about, which is fawn, which is I'm going to become a pleaser to keep myself safe. Mm. So I'm going to act like I had a nightmare last night about somebody abducting me in, their, in our truck, and I became the pleaser. I was like, oh, yes, of course. Uh, you know, you can drive my car and take me to Ohio, which is so strange. This guy was taking me off to Ohio, abducting mm -hmm. me to Ohio. And I became the pleaser completely in order to survive in my nightmare last night. And so, yeah, go ahead. Well, and across every single blueprint, not just the energetic, the, the um, fawning, mm -hmm. that's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. The fawning can build up those resentments. Can, you, are, yep. you are going into pleasing mode. You are turning into something and giving Shadow up your, of the shapeshifter. Right, giving mm -hmm. up your own desires and letting your boundaries be crossed. Mm -hmm. So how do, you, how do you do this? How do you set the boundaries? And how do you welcome and invite your partner in to feed, speak, and heal and your blueprint? Energetics, one of their shadows is, is, I know something's not right, but I don't know what to say. And I don't, I don't want to upset my partner. So I'll also, just kind of take whatever's happening because I know I'm weird. Yeah, weird. You're That's what I was going to say. The, the energetic often, because there's so little um, examples of the energetic in our society, you'll feel like you're isolated and strange because you twitch when you're having an mm -hmm. orgasm. Or, or you, you need so you much need space. That orgas you need that orgasmic space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. And I see a post there, eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes. If you know, like maybe you're sexual and you're like, come on, I just want to, how do I get in? <laughs> <laughs> how do I get in there? Yeah. <laughs> um, which is total, yes, I'm doing an innuendo. Um, then you may <laughs> want to go to that link there and just jump in. Francesca says, oh, geez, the fawning thing just happened. Yeah, I mean, mm. I'm sure many of you can point out times in your life when you've done this. And, uh, you know, my body, I just felt like tension in my body just now when I was saying that and relating to you, Francesca, how many times I've done this in my body. And I, I say, you know, I'm very well, well boundaried, but there's still times where I judge myself as like, oh, I'm just being too energetic or I'm being too, I have too big of boundaries. No, you are perfect. You are enough just the way you are and you are lovable in all of your boundaries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So epic seduction fail number one, if you have an energetic partner too much, too fast, going in ah, and, and having a consciousness about the fact that you're touching them way before you get to them. And that's something we dive into very deeply into the course. How do you feed, speak? What are the words? What are the... What is the distance? Mm -hmm. How, what is the kind of touch that turns on an energetic versus the kind that turns on a sensual mm -hmm. versus the kind that turns on a kinky? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my epic seduction fail with a sensual, I can't demonstrate for you how I epic seduction fail because I go to sexual, I take off all my clothes. So if you just imagine that scenario of us in bed, I take off all my clothes and I lay there naked mm -hmm. and I'm and just that's like, the what? Seduction. That's the seduction. The naked like, I'm naked in bed. Why wouldn't you be turned on by that? That is an epic seduction fail for a sensual. He wants like me in the dress, me in athletic clothes. It could be, it could work, but it needs like some furry blankets and some pillows and candles and the music has to be just right. And then I walk in on the body that's oh, part of the let's tapestry. Let's do the epic seduction fail night when you were turning on my energetic and you got up to change the music. So okay, here's so an here epic seduction epic fail. Epic seduction fail of, of energetic, of energetic. to sensual. So uh, you should turn a little this way. Okay. So um, like here... I'm going over her vulva at a distance, so I'm kind of tapping here a little bit to and the I energetic. Can, I can actually just start moving into <laughs> orgasm so, just from our demonstration here. Some of you are looking at this and going like, what is that? That's not sex. Well, this is energetic sex. So, and then, I'm, so I'm here, and she, I'm getting, I'm feeling reactions, I'm connecting to her energetically, and we have some music on, and... I just go... And I'm actually really feeling this in my body. Whoa! <laughs> and, I just, and I just walk away. And I walk across the room. And she's like, what? what I pop what? up. I'm like, what are you doing? What happened? <laughs> and uh, I go and, I'm and I go, 
It's just my sensual. I have to change the music. And in that moment, I could laugh because I now have compassion for for that like epic, you know, seduction fail in that moment. And it wasn't even didn't even become a fail because I understood in that moment that for the sensual, the the environment may need to be right. Not all sensuals, but for a lot of them, it's really important. And so the music not being right, he couldn't be present with me and really send me energy and, and be there fully with me, which he knows is important to feeding my energetic. And so he got up and he fixed the music, said, oh, it's just my sensual. I understood what was happening and could go, oh, yes, he's fixing it. And that's the beauty of understanding the blueprints is that now it becomes like a laughing point. Whereas before I would have been pissed. I would have been mm -hmm. like, what the F are you and doing? The, and the evening's done because and, I And then I'm the shutting energy. down and all the resentment from the past comes back because, because of that. Jonathan says, fear is definitely something now that should be ridden of. The fear, so much fear in the body. Francesca, yes, I needed space to enjoy and he was on effing meshes, wasn't <laughs> listening to me or feeling me. Yeah, so I reverted to fawning. Yep, that's what can happen. And that's where we take responsibility and go, Wait a minute, mm. I'm feeling tension in my body and revealing. That's how we help that. And I'm going into a little bit of prescriptive here, but, but one of the things that we can do in that moment, and I know because it's up in the culture so much, but one of the things we can do in that moment is go, wait a minute, I'm feeling tension in my body. Mm -hmm. What's that about? Can we and pause? reveal it. Can we pause? I'm feeling some tension. Can we pause? And I have to check in sometimes, is that good tension or bad tension? <laughs> you know, is that sexual tension or is that, that like my body short circuiting tension? And if my body's short circuiting, then I can go, okay, here's what I need. Mm -hmm. Now what I need is, I need you to slow down just a little. Could you slow down just a little bit? I need a little could space. We, could I get a little space so I can feel you more? Mm -hmm. And just having that little bit, that little moment right there just helps so much with ending the disconnection. So gold, we just gave you gold. <laughs> Take I, it, run with it. And my mind is running to how, how much the language that we teach mm -hmm. really starts to deepen that conversation. I was just thinking, you know, like for many things, especially around sex and sexuality, we might have one word to express what it is that we mean by touch. Mm -hmm. Would you touch me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, not in my, <laughs> that's not in my blueprint. Yes. So would you touch me energetically? Once you mm -hmm. start getting these, the distinguishing language, then you can start to create the subtlety of connection, the mm -hmm. understanding between each other, that then you can take it deeper without all of the um, conflict or the sense of rejection, mm -hmm. the sense of I'm not being heard, I'm, I'm lost, I'm alone here. And you can bridge the gap because it's that thing of like learning each other's language, French, Persian, yep. that now we start to, oh, oh, what you mean is not green. You mean um, a olive green. Uh -huh. <laughs> we get exactly. Very, the very distinctions specific. are what take it to the next level. These little distinctions. For those of you who are already having a great relationship, great sex life, and you're wanting to take it to the next level, it's distinctions. And same thing for all of you who are feeling like you're in the disconnect. It's these small distinctions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we demonstrated sensual and energetic and kind of how they go together. And sexual, we, we demonstrated with. some sexual and how, you know, how that epic fail can happen. We're leaving there. out my favorite. I know. So my test says I'm zero kinky. So Ian's number one is kinky. My number one is sexual. Energetic's very close. I'm energetic more when I'm in a new relationship than when I'm in a relationship that's very safe. I become much more sexual. So I'm sexual number one in my relationship with Ian. And he's kinky number one. He's zero sexual on the list. I'm zero kinky on the list. You can see where the epic seduction fails come in. So what wasn't even on my radar was seducing his kinky. I'm making everything just sort of non-mysterious. I'm naked in the bed and say, hey, do you want to have some? I want to have sex three times a day. And why aren't we having sex three times or four times or five times a day? This isn't <laughs> enough. You're not enough. Uh-huh. Hmm. That's your interpretation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Take responsibility there, everyone, yeah, yeah. No, for no. those thoughts. Well, right? that's actually the dialogue we were in. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the, the, our unconscious dialogue we our were in. Our unconscious dialogue, absolutely. Yeah. yeah at that mm -hmm. point. So, okay. So, seducing in the kinky, the fail is there's not enough container. There's not enough mystery. It depends on what kind of kinky. So um, psychological kinky, some people are more psychological based and it's more about the power dynamic and some people are more sensation based. For Ian, once I figured this out, all I needed to do was get some ropes out 
We have some ropes over there. Do you want some ropes, lover? They're, <laughs> they're over there. And I'll the, think about the ropes. Uh, he's going to think of maybe we'll get the ropes out and uh, do a little demonstration. Um, so who, who votes for ropes? Uh, and so, so Ian's getting nervous. <laughs> he's like, Jaya, what are you doing? That's that's right there. That actually starts to set context. I just gave you an example of setting context for sensuals and kinkies, especially context is so important. Um, for the sensual, the context is going to, yeah, I see lots of hearts and <laughs> thumbs. Yes, they're voting the, for ropes. The, yeah. the context tends to be more about the environment, the music, the tastes, mm -hmm. the flavors, the sensuality of the, the sensual feast that you're creating. So, so no mystery, no dynamic, no container, no context can leave a kinky feeling like a lack of turn on. Mm -hmm. So I just created a whole bunch of a cognitive dissonance in Ian. He wants the ropes and yet he doesn't know if he wants so it in the, front it, of everyone. So, yeah, exactly. It's the taboo. <laughs> so when we talk about kinky, we talk about, you can think about the dungeons and the whips and the chains and needles and all of this, but kinky doesn't really mean that. Kinky can be that. Kinky is vast. But what kinky really means is what's taboo for you. Mm -hmm. And when that taboo gets... Um, turned on or, or spoken about or done is a turn on. It's an arousal mm -hmm. for you. So in the context of Jai's setting up, the taboo becomes like, oh, ropes? Mm -hmm. Oh, people on Facebook watching? Hmm, that's a little edgy. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a turn on there. So then, I, then we can play with that. Whether we live it out or not, we've, right. we've started to set a context and the kinky mind is a fascinating mind because I got one. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just want to reiterate here, no matter what you're turned on, so that, that would, could have been an epic seduction fail when Ian said kinky's not about blah, blah, blah. So I just want, I just want to call that because what, a, what an epic <clears throat> seduction fail is with a kinky is anywhere where they feel judged or not accepted. Mm -hmm. So if you, if your partner comes to you, let's come to me with something and I'll give an epic seduction fail. Like some, ask me something you want to do that's in the kinky realm for you. That's in the kinky realm. Uh -huh. um, so I would, I, tonight, can we really like set a scene where you tie me up and um, you leave me in the room and you make noises and I don't really kind of, I don't know when you're going to come back in and because I, I, I want that mystery and surprise and then you come in and you ravish me. I really don't understand why you like this. Hmm. Like, why are you so turned on by all this, like, me having to do all this stuff? I don't understand. And setting up, like, like scenes. Why and, you... Like, why can't we just have normal sex? Well, normal sex is boring, and <laughs> I just feel like... Do you see it? <laughs> so there's the epic seduction fail. And so I just want all of us to be, like, when we're talking about Kinky Blueprint, really acceptance of whatever it is that turns you on, as long as there's consent... That is the underlying rule. As long as there's consent, all those turn-ons and desires are completely accepted. If you like whips, chains, blood, all of the stuff that might be a hard limit for some of us, awesome. That, you know, like that is the, the thing that seduces the kinky is creating a container and context of full acceptance of your turn-on. Mm -hmm. So I want us all to breathe because for some of us, those are not turn ons and we may have our own like judgments shadow, or, like, shadow or judgments or... or anything that comes up. So take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> and if you're new here, cause I've seen us like bump our numbers way up. And so on um, people that are here, please introduce yourself say what your blueprint, say what your blueprint is. is. We are giving away an erotic blueprint breakthrough course for the most engaged people, people who are commenting and liking and really engaging with us, asking questions. We love you, so we love that engagement, and we're building a, really a community and a conversation here around sexuality that I think is really powerful. And if you're ready to dive into our course, eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes to find out more about that. And if you haven't taken the quiz yet, it's eroticblueprintbreakthrough.com to take the quiz to find out what your type is. Okay, so we talked about kinky, mm -hmm. we've talked about sensual, sexuals. Let's just do a check-in with everybody. There's a lot Tons of comments. Of Ah, uh, oops, I just did something. I canceled, whatever that was. The understanding makes all of the difference. Yeah, totally get that. Wrong music can be such a put off. <laughs> uh, Belle says, gold is right. Energetic makes so much sense. Buttercup, me too. All the me too's. Jonathan, as I had said earlier, it's important for all people here to really understand one another there in their relationship of the relationship here. Amy, Yay, ropes! Look, all the ropes. <laughs> Emily wants ropes. 
Francesca wants ropes. Marty says yes. Brian says yes. It's all about context. Jonathan, as I said in the previous video, judgment is wrong. So again, I don't make anybody bad or wrong, even if you're judging. Like, so we can go to right, wrong conversation. It's more, I'd like to say here, it's more about judgment is just an experience that you may be having. And, and what you do is you reveal how does that judgment affect things? Mm -hmm. Does judgment increase intimacy, the thing that you want? Or does judgment build, when you have a lack of judgment and a lack of criticism, then that actually builds intimacy when you have that openness. So go ahead. Well, curiosity about your own judgment, but curiosity as well if you're finding yourself feeling or being actually being judged by a partner, friend, stranger, mm -hmm. being curious about what that judgment is because the judgment is mostly speaking likely about some shadow aspect, some aspect that they're uncomfortable with that brings up fear for them about what they might be judging. Mm -hmm. And that's a really big thing for people who are partnered with kinkies because it is such a vast world and it, this and energetics, like they're, they can be very misunderstood and mysterious worlds for the people who don't, aren't interested in them, it's not your type, uh, but they're, they're, the world of kink is just so vast mm -hmm. that my, actually I found a huge uh, ability to connect with Jaya energetically by tapping into my energy. It's how he expanded into energetic. Through kink, mm -hmm. by using it to tease her because I wanted to get that kind of like, oh, I gotta have it kind right. of reaction from her and I wasn't able to do it in any other way so I could pull my kinky in with that. Francesca says consent is the word of the day in Toronto they just had a consent event. Love it. Nice. Elise says, I'm having a little bit of difficulty. The first time I took the quiz and listened to the video, it didn't resonate. So I took it again and no resonance. So Elise, one of the things with the, the quiz that may be happening here is the quiz does it from your mind and your body may have a different thing. So in the course, we actually teach you how to do it from your body. Um, I'm just trying to see, I can't get the whole comment. Uh, of Elise's but but when you do it from your body that's usually when the truth comes out because maybe your mind and your body what may be happening is your mind and your body are not on the same page there's um, something I can't remember exactly the term for it right in this moment um, non-concordance that's mm -hmm. what it is non-concordance where your body and your mind kind of say different things and, and the, so that may be what's happening. And also that. there's a chance that the shadow of the blueprints may be speaking while you're reading the questions and trying to go through. There mm -hmm. may be some shadow aspects coming up, which either reject certain things or have you really not be able to feel into your body and go, oh. That there is a me. type that the quiz doesn't test for. I almost think it's kind of like a six type. It's a shadow shapeshifter um, versus the shadow of the shapeshifter. It's a little different, which is where you just have the shadows of all the blueprints and not a lot of the positives. Um, Emily Nagaski talks about brakes and accelerators. It's like having um, all brakes and not a lot of accelerator on your sexuality. And so it's then that the quiz and things can be challenging if that may be the case. And I don't know if that's the case for you, Elise, but... Um, but going back to the thing that Jai is talking about, about letting your body tell the truth, mm -hmm. in the course, I think it's module three, or class three in the course, we go deep into how do you discover your own, use the body to tell mm -hmm. you if the test results are accurate and mm -hmm. go even deeper into your own bl blueprints. Evan says, what's happening everyone? What's happening? <laughs> Evan's from Canada and is a shapeshifter and scored equally sensual. So you're a sensual shapeshifter. Yay. Daniel's a shapeshifter. You Ellen. Know, a lot of shapeshifters. What happens if your partner's bisexual? Is it difficult to know uh, what might work? Does it doesn't matter. With blueprints, it's just a blueprint. And it Same doesn't matter. Same sex, bisexual. Yep. In the relationship, if you're a same-sex relationship, if your partner has a different uh, sexual, my brain is blanking. Now, they may have a different way of interacting with their same-sex partner. Mm -hmm. because Oh, maybe, yeah, you could have yeah. a different blueprint show Exactly. Up, so they may, day. let's just, for example, they could be really sensual, energetic with you, but with their partner, they get sexual kinky. So they just may mm -hmm. have different aspects that want to come forward with each relationship. Loveland says her blueprint's shapeshifter and she wants all of it, but not necessarily all at the same time. That's something we get into, which is called blueprint <laughs> stacking. stacking. So that's a way of really taking the blueprints and getting really sophisticated to really build your arousal. We actually have a bonus in this program that's all about blueprint stacking too. So, mm -hmm. Ruth says there's a difference between judgment versus just not being, versus being turned off by someone else's turn on. Yeah, so the, there's the judgment right. that gets in there, but there's also just like, my thing is not your thing. And I am not turned on by that. And I would say I wasn't turned on by Ian's kinky at all. And now I am. 
So anything, it's possible to rewire anything to become a turn on. It's just if you want to. And I know, wasn't turned on by Jaya's sexual, but now I'm <laughs> expanding into it and we're yep. playing with erotic personas and all sorts of things to bring that stuff forward. And as we find these places where we can find our attraction through the other person's blueprint, our sex is just getting hotter. hotter. Our yeah. connection is deeper. We've been having some hot juicy sex the last um, couple of episodes here. Her well, sexual's happy. And when her get... sexual gets turned on, you notice when she's talking about it, then she starts then to I get close. the sensual. <laughs> then I get close. Because that... she's being fed. When my sexual gets fed, I can feed his sensual and kinky fully, but I need, I need to not be starving. Same thing. I mean, but when you're starving in your blueprint, that's where it gets hard to feed your partner if you have one. There's another thing I want to mention here too, because we're talking a lot about couple interaction. All of this stuff, if you're not currently in a relationship, is completely powerful and effective for learning more about who you are sexually mm -hmm. so that you can actually begin to articulate your language to the people that you're dating, to the future partner that you've not met yet. So you're coming prepared, knowing, like Jaya just talks and about somebody his, just asked the question, oh, Loveland just said, what is it, why does it feel so hard to navigate and get what I want? And this is like when you're single, this is the part of the conversation mm -hmm. is when you know yourself and you know what really turns you on, then you are able to ask for it. And, and, and the problem is that we ask for it in our blueprint. Mm. And if we have a partner who is a different blueprint, it becomes one of those epic seduction fails. Fails, yes. you know. And I use the word fail like fun, you know, because I don't feel like we're we're failures at all. Like I don't. Nobody hears failure. No, but it's, it's just you weren't educated. It, it does. But you gotta <laughs> like just say the power of the word is that that's how people feel. Uh huh. They feel, you, I mean, so many people. And I feel. get that because that's how I felt. I, I felt, felt like, like I, I was, was a failure. failure. He felt like he was a failure in it, that. And it still even comes up where I'll feel like I'm failing because my libido doesn't match Jaya's. Mm -hmm. But we now we have this dialogue to be able to like get back in the conversation and instead of Jaya coming with all of this really intense energy of not getting my needs, needs met, I, it's just dropped out off my radar, but she'll bring it up and I'll go, oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta amp <laughs> Let, that up again. Let's amp up my sexual. Yeah. And so right now Ian's really playing in his sexual, so I'm super happy, feel fed. And I come towards and then I feed him. So how, why is it so hard to navigate and, not, and get what I want? It's because you're probably speaking your own blueprints language and, you may and the other even, person doesn't hear it. Yeah, and you may not even know how to articulate your own blueprints language of mm -hmm. like how, what is the actual touch? What is the actual verbiage that gets to arouse And how does that verbiage, how do I change it? You know, if my verbiage is, oh, I, I want you to touch me, blah, 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 whatever. I want blah, blah, blah in the bedroom. But your partner is saying, you need to know how, how do I say, what are the words that are going to get me what I want in my blueprint and, and, or the demonstration or how do I feed them so they're not so starving? Like that's a whole big giant can of worms there. I love that question. Shannon, I'm an energetic while my husband is a shapeshifter, strong towards energetic. Both of us also are strong and sensual. We've had times where we've had amazing deep connection, but has... <laughs> it's like coitus interruptus. I think there's a question in there, but let's talk about the shapeshifter. Yeah. I think that's a good segue to um, the shapeshifter and seduction fails with the shapeshifter, which is uh, I've had my orgasm. We're done. We're good. And the shapeshifter's like, wait a minute, we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that would be one uh, seduction fail. And I'm not, I'm not a shapeshifter. I'm a shapeshifter in giving in my work because that's I needed to learn to become a shapeshifter so that I could work with all my clients. Um, Ian is heading more towards shapeshifter as he's developing his sexual more. Um, I think it, uh, from the point of view of the shapeshifter coming on to their partner or trying to seduce their partner, mm -hmm. the fail would be... I'm totally morphing okay. to, to the, just the be... The shapeshifter's just like, okay, everything. Like, everything. Like, let's do a little everything. And the other person's just like, whoa, no, this is too much. <laughs> energetic, if you have a high energetic in there, it would short circuit that. Or the other version is, uh, let's say, I'm, she, let's say for instance, Jai is a sensual, but I'm the shapeshifter, and I know she's sensual, and I... Really good at sensual because I'm a shapeshifter. Always I come, playing. I come sensual. in and I give her sensual, and we take it all the way to arousal and orgasm in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and and then I she's like I'm done, and I'm like oh okay great that was fantastic right really had a good time. Mm. But yet there's resentment mm. building in the shapeshifter body because they didn't, get, they didn't get their needs met. 
So that would be an epic shapeshifter fail. And the, and the thing there is, again, it's the speaking up. I've been talking about this. How do you feel in your body? Like reveal, let's, let's start this like conversation. And again, you're not wrong, broken, bad. You're enough and you're normal. And we need to start speaking about these things and learning about these things. It's, it's learning how to feed, speak, heal, expand the blueprint. And when I talk about healing the blueprint, it's about the shadow side of the blueprint. How do we heal that shadow side? Okay, Nadine says she's from Belgium. She's energetic, sensual, and she's single. I'm going to check our time because I yep. know Facebook kicks us off. Buttercup, what could be better than stacking? Yes, that's a, that's a more advanced concept where we actually teach you how do you stack the blueprints. And it's kind of like unlocking arousal. We're in an hour. Oh, my goodness. So okay, so they haven't kicked us off yet. We are in an hour. Let's talk. We did talk a little bit about the shapeshifter there. Um, amazing to watch Jaya shift between energetic and sensual. Thank you, Buttercup. <laughs> Emily, will this live stream stay online? Yes, as long as Facebook doesn't take it down. Sometimes Facebook doesn't like us and they, they take down. And if we're gonna put a we're gonna put a recording of it out on one of the emails. So if you're on our email list, you'll get it there. If you're not, you should take the quiz, which is erotic breakthrough forwards.com. That's it. Eroticbreakthrough.com. That's, That's for the quiz. And if you're all And then you'll in, get all our videos and notifications. More videos on this are in that series. If you take the quiz, we have a three-part video series that goes a little deeper. Final into video this. comes out Sunday night on that series. Mm -hmm. And if you're just ready to jump into the course, it's eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes. yes. And that's where we just dive super deep in an eight-week course all about this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Buttercup says, amazing to watch Jaya shift. Learning, leaning in and out, just like me. Yay. Jonathan, you're definitely not a failure, Jaya. Nor are you, Ian. Thank <laughs> oh, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Brian says, yes, learning more about what feeds and how that's different from my partner's blueprint helps me know what to ask for in a way that my partner might better understand. Loveland, I've recently had a few epic seduction fails. As a single, how can I use this to feed myself? Great question. In week four, Four of our erotic blueprint breakthrough course we talk we I demonstrate as a single how to feed your own body and also how to do it with a partner so some ways one is understand your blueprint number one to feed yourself so feeding yourself really comes down to what's your blueprint how does your blueprint love to be fed spoken to and actually having a practice I talk a lot about the importance of practicing we have an amazing online community where we create practices together we practice together we do things um, that help you to feed your blueprint. And so get ideas from people who are your same blueprint. And I highly recommend joining the course so that you can learn how to feed your blueprint. That's all demonstrated. I demonstrate that within the course. Um, great. Ruth says, so true. The thing about one person feeling done while the other me feels like we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brittany says, I've shifted from energetic sensual to more kinky in the last year, but my partner who's sensual seems to be rejecting this shift in my blueprint. Now what? Oh, mm. Brittany. And hi, Brittany. Uh, good, to, good to see you here. Um, so if your partner has, is rejecting that, that's the hardest thing for the kinky right there. And so really helping them understand, I would do body reveals of how that in your body feels. So like, oh, I feel sad, you know, right in my heart when when that's happening or in revealing what the kinky provides for you, helping them understand the kinky, um, finding some access that's simple. Like what are the mm -hmm. easier levels that they could go to that may not bring up so any shadow or judgment or fear mm -hmm. of what it might mean about them because they may actually find that they are getting turned on by it or they're, they're just in, they just don't know how to, to frame it for mm -hmm. themselves. And Brittany, I think you may be in our course. I, I, I think so. If you are, get on a pleasure mastery call because this would be great for us to do some coaching around. And just FYI for anybody who joins the course, you do get coaching calls. We do coaching calls once a month as part of that. And they're amazing. People get on, really share a lot. So I highly recommend getting on one of those calls with me if you can. And this would be a great question for us to work with because it's a, there's a much deeper answer to it. Um, the quiz is already, Brian says the quiz is already been very helpful for my partner. And I, and I see so much potential. Yay, yes. Thank awesome. you. That's my goal. Is That's just, one thing we keep getting from the quiz alone, just how much people are getting new understanding and being able to open the dialogue with their partner mm -hmm. or a future, somebody they're dating. 
Anya says, I'd love to learn more. I'm going to check out the course. Yay. Yay. Welcome. Henrietta says, I'm a shapeshifter. Tried to get an orgasm for many years. Trying everything. Didn't get fed at all. Now amazing things are happening with my body. Greater Yay. orgasms every time. Love hearing <laughs> that, Henriette. Marty, feeling relaxed throughout my body. Feels good to feel normal. Francesca, need new ideas for sure. Okay, so I just want to do a check-in because I know we're coming to the end of this. I just want to do a check-in with everybody. How are you feeling in your body? What are some takeaways? So I just love body reveals. How's your body feeling after learning and taking in all of this, seeing it? For those of you who are still here, thank you for hanging in until the end. And also, um, what are your takeaways? What are you learning? And I'm gonna share just a little bit about our course. So it is an eight week online program where we do a deep dive into the erotic blueprints. Week one is all about just, it's an orgasmic orientation. It's very mellow. It's about introducing yourself. We have an epic community of people who are so supportive. There's already people in the course who are introducing themselves and the community is just epic. And you get three months in that community for, you know, free. Mm -hmm. So the Erotic Blueprint Breakthrough course, week one, or orientation, and we teach empathy skills and really just how to start talking about this. What are your hopes, your fears, your goals? We work through that. Week two, we dive deep into the Erotic Blueprints because it's not just these five types. It's a much deeper system. And week three, we determine blueprints from the body, not from the quiz, but I actually, we demonstrate games. Ian and I are live together. We help you map out your pleasure map and your whole blueprint through the body versus through the head and seeing the difference between the body and the mind and, and what the body may be saying versus the mind saying and how do you reconcile the two. In week four, we go into feeding the blueprints for singles and for those of you who are in relationship, how do we really get fed in each and every one of the blueprints. In week five, we work with, uh, what is week five? Speaking, one of my favorite weeks. That one's also live with Ian and I. And we go into what are the words. I don't know how many of you try naughty talk in the bed or explicit talk. I like explicit versus dirty. I don't like using the word dirty associated with it because it's really different for every single blueprint. And so, and that, that's my blueprint talking. I don't like exactly. using the word I was dirty. Say, dirty for my kinky <laughs> might be like, oh yeah, let's get dirty. So what is the right time to use the words? When to use the words? What's the body language? Because body language plays a huge role in Vocal all of tone, this. are you congruent? Are you able to really show up as the energetic if your partner's needing energetic? Are yep. you really able to show up as the dominant master or the submissive in a kinky scene? Mm -hmm. So all of these things have very beautiful, subtle languages and it gets really sexy to yep. play with them. And then week six, we go into healing. I have a bunch of meditations to help you uh, in, in Nagaski's language, again, around the brakes and the accelerator. The shadows is my language. So how do we take the brakes off of the sexuality? How do we help heal the shadow aspects that may be holding us back from really getting the sex that we desire? And week seven is all about expanding the blueprint. Woo! So how do you expand into new territory? If you have a blueprint that's really low on that quiz, how do you raise that up? And then, um, and, and if you have a partner who has a different blueprint, how do you speak their blueprint and feed their blueprint? And then finally, week eight is really about how do we create passion for a lifetime? How do we take this and create epic love affairs and epic sex and epic passion for the rest of our lives? And that's just a brief rundown of the course. Go check it out at eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes. And we'd love to see you inside in part of the community. Some of the community members are here. If any of you want to speak or any of you who've taken Erotic Blueprint Breakthrough course want to speak to the power of that because I know people have questions. And I know that you're probably wondering, is this for me? Will this really help me? Um, if you're resonating with these blueprints, if you're resonating with things that I'm saying, if you're resonating with the challenge that Ian and I had, if you're single and you just want to be able to really get satisfaction in your next relationship and really understand this when you're dating. If you want to have the confidence mm -hmm. as a lover that you can go into the next relationship and really feed your partner. Mm -hmm. I was married before and one of the reasons that my relationship fell apart was because I was a terrible lover. I didn't have the confidence a to be... big thing for, for a man to say. <laughs> I didn't have the confidence. I didn't have the knowledge to be able to, mm -hmm. to sit with and be with my lover, my wife's needs at that time to be able to actually mm -hmm. get her to fulfillment. And it created such a distance between us. Mm -hmm. Francesca says, when I feel sad in my body, I say it hurts my heart. Mm. Buttercup, the meaning of, my, of life. Bravo, Jaya, darling, and Ian. Yay, we love you, Buttercup. <laughs> Francesca, relaxed body, Loveland, need new ideas on how to discover my partner's blueprint. 
We That's got a whole the, mapping. the whole class on that. Um, we actually have spreadsheets for those of you who like spreadsheets, who want to fill in numbers and put the math together. We've also got some hot <clears throat> bonuses as mm-hmm. you move into really getting specific with this of like how you can play with it and how to play in each blueprint. We have immersions of the blueprints, so much stuff. Renier says, relaxed and curious about how it goes. Uh, Her- Harriet- Henriette says, loving this. Yay, we love you. Marty, epic is an understand, uh, under, understatement for Erotic Freedom Club. That's our online community. So she's saying epic is an understatement. Thank that's, you so much, Marty. That's hard to be an understatement at epic. <laughs> I know. Where do we go uh, from Anya here? says, I feel seen, relaxed, and new inspiration. Want to work with, get to know the blueprint of my dates. Oh, awesome. Nice. Brittany, seriously, the support from this community is absolutely incredible. I don't think you will find this kind of education and support anywhere else. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much, Brittany. Wow, I'm breathing that one in. <sighs> I, th- I, you know, it was one of my big goals. It's taken a year for us to create this community that we have online. And I, I mean, from the start, it was something that I knew was just going to be epic. And... I, I'm really feeling into that because I think that's one of the things that can heal the, the planet around sexuality is this community, community and conversation and being in a community where there is empathy and that's how we've trained everybody. We have community agreements. It's a very safe container. There's something else about the community that is particularly unique because we have the five blueprints all under one roof. Mm-hmm. There are, we have, there's amazing educators and people that we recommend that you go to to learn more deeply about each and every one of the blueprints. But I don't, have all the blueprints I don't know any place room. else where, a comprehensive. where every, mm-hmm. everybody can get spoken to. And like you could be going to a Tantra thing with your lover. Like I could go mm-hmm. to a Tantra thing with Jaya and half the time or more, I'm just like, Ugh. and she could go to a kink thing with me and just be like, but to find the but to find a place where you can start to meld and have the conversation about both of those things Mm -hmm. because your partner's (laughs) I'm laughing because I just had the thought of like it's like when you go to a vegan restaurant or you go to like a ketogenic or a like meat Uh, yeah right nothing on the menu for me (laughs) (laughs) what we have is like a vegan menu and a steak menu and And a French French cuisine (laughs) and we get the paleo and we got the fine dining fast food we got it all we got it all Uh, um, Brian feeling hopeful (laughs) excited and wanting to be able to take the course so I can keep learning more awesome buttercup co- cup is crazy tuned in hypersensitive feeling d- deeply from a distance thanks so much today profound for me peeling back the layers every time I learn from you thank you mm. buttercup Anya love dirty talking <laughs> Francesca naughty talk has been an epic fail for me mm. oh. Thank you for your raw reveal thank Mark you. single without a partner currently well Mark mm. We're sending you juju (laughs) if you want a partner. You know, not everybody who's single wants to be in relationships. Some people are like, that's a conscious choice too. Yep. Anya, thank you. Loveland says, thank you for doing this Facebook Live. You're so welcome. It's such a pleasure. Brian says, yes, amazed at how much I am resonating with what you're saying. Marty, EBBC is a life changer. That's the erotic blueprint breakthrough course. Pleasure, a priority in my life. I'm more connected to my body and desires. Loveland, desire to master seduction. Mark says, thanks for sharing your wisdom. You're so very welcome. Henriette says, amazing to finally learn the language of love. Francesca, Mm. yes, it will heal the planet. Yay! (laughs) Evan, can't wait to meet you both in the coaching course. Let me know if you need some Canadian maple syrup. Oh, I would (laughs) love some Canadian maple syrup. We could do some fun stuff with Canadian maple syrup. (laughs) Of course, my mind went. He's like, yum, let's eat that on pancakes. I'm like, ooh, let's lick that off our genitals. Um, Don't put maple syrup on your genitals. It might be too sugary. Um, Ju, thank you. I love to hear you sharing about your intention in the big picture of real active action I love uh, in the world. Yeah. Anya, tantric kink. That's the answer <laughs> for, for we, Ian and I. We've gone there. We've gone there. Sure. Yep. Brian, I love the healing intentions infused in your approach to the subject. Thank you, Brian. Ellen, thanks. Great. Since the platinum class. Hi, Ellen. Yay. Yay. Uh, just a shout out to anybody we saw in Maui. Uh, the Platinum Partnership event. Yay, it was so epic. That was an epic event. That was an epic event. Mark, thank you for the juju. Yes. Jonathan, good luck here to your mission, Jaya. Sexy love to you. Thank you. Sexy love back. Nadine, make love, not war. Yes. All <laughs> and, right. And learn how to make it really well. 
Well, thank you all. We are going to do another Facebook Live Tuesday night. That's just going to be a and a So if you want to join us again here Tuesday night, I don't remember what time we are. 5.30 p.m. Pacific. And um, some people may be shy. Maybe you're on this and you've been watching and you don't, you're just kind of scared to talk about sex and sexuality on a Facebook Live feed. You can send in your questions to jaya at missjaya.com. Write them out. And we will do our best to get to them live during our broadcast mm -hmm. on Tuesday night. So jaya at missjaya.com to ask any of the questions that you're too shy to ask about here. Or even if you can't make it, because we'll send out replays in the email. Sending you a hug, Jonathan. Mm, mm. That was like a superhero hug. I don't know what kind of hug mm. that was. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan's a big guy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is better. Uh, Daniel says, great talk, desperately wanting to know more. Yay! Oh, and luckily we have more, we have so you can more. go deeper. So join us Tuesday night for the Facebook Q&A, 5.30 Pacific time, if you want more of us live. Get and started in the course right away yep. at eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes. yes, and within a couple of days you'll be dropped into Erotic Freedom Club. The course mm -hmm. begins on November 1st, 2017. Yeah, so, so we will be closing the doors here. Um, on the 30th. On the 30th, so just, uh, this is October 2017. And we will be closing the doors because we run everybody through, a group through all at the same time. So just know that this is that there is a limited window here for joining and right now we are open. So eroticbreakthrough.com forward slash yes to join us. And we have to announce a winner, but oh. what we do is we don't actually announce it on here. We, will, we are gonna go through and just see, um, I know a lot of you, Brian and Francesca and Buttercup and Jonathan, like a lot of you, Henriette, who have been um, just talking with us this whole time. So we will go through, we're going to see the post. We'll announce it in one of the, in the comments and we'll, we'll obviously, we'll obviously reach, out, reach to, out to you on Facebook yep. and let you know who won the course. So thank you all so much for all, Loveland too. I see Loveland. Hope you will post this Facebook live session for viewing. It keeps freezing. Yes, we will post it. So sorry if anything's freezing. Francesca says, pick me. Yeah, who wants it? <laughs> <laughs> who wants that course? Um, I love a little friendly competition. So <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Well, thank you all so much for being here. We love, love, love you. Keep going out there. Share because Facebook doesn't allow us to actually do um, advertising or anything like that. So please share this or share the quiz, eroticbreakthrough.com, that helps us get the word out even more. This, to me, is a game changer if everybody understands blueprints, understands where they're coming from, and we get more conscious about sexuality. I truly believe that we can begin some epic healing on the planet. And so thank you, thank you, thank something you. Something is super fun to do, and we know many people have done this, and they're just, the reports are off the hook, but people will share the quiz with people who are coming to a party, mm -hmm. like a big party or a dinner party. They'll share the quiz with them, and have them take it before they come. So some people have done erotic bright, uh, blueprint themed parties. Come uh -huh. as your blueprint. <laughs> and some people have just had them take that question, uh, or ha bring the blueprint as a topic, of, as conversation. A topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, the, the evening is just off the hook. It just, people don't want to leave. <laughs> I can't get them to leave my house. So uh, sharing the quiz. Can restaurants, just... we've actually seen it spread through restaurants and events and uh -huh. all kinds of places. So, so it's, fun, su fun it's stuff. just, it's super fun. It's a conversation fire starter for yep. sure. All right, everyone, much, much love to you. I'm going to blow you all a kiss and fill your life with, with pleasure. pleasure. Mwah. Mwah.